African Lion vs. Nile Crocodile Who would win a fight between these two titans? A fight between the African Lion and Nile Crocodile can be said to be a battle of the titans as both of them are legendary in their own way. They are found in the same continent and sometimes in the same geographic and climatic locations. Both are so powerful that it would be difficult to predict the outcome of a combat between the two animals. Lion, large, powerfully built cat that is second in size only to the tiger. The proverbial king of beasts, the lion has been one of the best known wild animals since earliest times. These magnificent predators are world renowned and for good reason. The Nile crocodile is a large freshwater African reptile. It is responsible for the most deaths from any animal as a predator preying on humans, yet crocodiles serve an important ecological function. The Nile crocodile eats carcasses that pollute water and controls predatory fish that could overeat smaller fish used as food by many other species. Size and Description A full-grown male lion is about 6 to 7 feet, 1.8 to 2.1 meters long, excluding the 3.2 feet tail, 1 meter. He stands about 4 feet, 1.2 meters high at the shoulder and weighs 370 to 500 pounds, 170 to 230 kilograms. The female, or lioness, is smaller. The lion's coat is short and varies in color from buff yellow, orange brown or silvery gray to dark brown with a tuft on the tail tip that is usually darker than the rest of the coat. The lion is a well-muscled cat with a long body, large head and short legs. Size and appearance vary considerably between the sexes. The male's outstanding characteristic is his mane, which varies between different individuals and populations. In some lions, the mane and fringe are very dark, almost black, giving the cat a majestic appearance. The Nile crocodile is the second largest reptile in the world, after the saltwater crocodile. Nile crocodiles have thick, armored skin that is dark bronze with black stripes and spots on the back, greenish-yellow side stripes and yellow scales on the belly. Crocodiles have four short legs, long tails and elongated jaws with conical teeth. Their eyes, ears and nostrils are on top of the head. Males are about 30% larger than females. Average size ranges between 10 and 20 feet in length, 3 to 6 meters, and anywhere from 300 to 1,650 pounds in weight, 136 to 750 kilograms. Range and Habitat African lions have a number of subspecies separated by large, lionless expanses. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas rather than densely packed forest. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. The Nile crocodile is widely distributed across sub-Saharan Africa. The reptile most frequently occurs in the central, eastern and southern regions of Africa, as well as western Madagascar. Being an aquatic animal, the Nile crocodile is typically found in rivers, large freshwater lakes, freshwater swamps, mangrove swamps, as well as coastal estuaries. Diet 
Lions are predatory carnivores. They usually hunt in groups, but the actual killing is done by an individual lion. They frequently bring down prey much bigger than they are themselves. African lions eat the most common large ungulates in the area, like Thompson's gazelles, zebras, impalas, and wildebeests. Individual prides tend to have their own eating preferences. Some prides tend to target large prey, such as Cape buffalo and giraffe. Being a carnivore, Nile crocodile feeds upon a wide variety of animal species, including insects, amphibians, fish, and land mammals such as giraffes or Cape buffaloes. Newly hatched crocodiles usually start with insects, eventually going over to larger prey. Crocodiles are ambush predators that wait for prey to come within range, lunge at the target, and sink their teeth into it to drag it into water to drown, die from sudden thrashing movements, or be torn apart with the help from other crocodiles. At night, crocodiles may leave the water and ambush prey on land. Behavior Lions spend lots of their time resting. They sleep, drowse, take catnaps, and lounge in the sun for a total of 20 hours out of the day. Lions are active during the day, but they tend to hunt more frequently at night. As the sun begins to set, the lions socialize, groom one another, and take care of their bathroom business. They will then spend most of the night alternating between lounging and hunting. Lions are known for their fierce roar, but may also growl, meow, snarl, and purr. The Nile crocodiles are solitary animals. However, they can occasionally be seen feeding in small groups, consisting of several individuals. These reptiles are mainly nocturnal. By day, the crocodiles typically sunbathe or cool off in the water if needed. Male crocodiles are highly territorial. They patrol and defend their territories, which often include a part of the shoreline extending about 50 meters into the water. Nile crocodiles usually dive for a few minutes before they come to the surface. However, when threatened, they are able to remain submerged for up to 30 minutes. They are exceptionally fast runners, and in general, these crocodiles have very quick reflexes, but unfortunately, tire quickly. Now let's see, who will win a fight between the king of the jungle and the Nile crocodile? Obviously, these two are skilled hunters. When it comes to fighting, they will use their intelligence. In some conditions, crocodiles win over lions, whereas in other conditions, we will see lions winning with an upper hand over the crocodile. Both animals are wary of each other, as is common with apex predators. Nile crocodiles are much bigger than lions and have the second strongest known bite in the world, the strongest belonging to its bigger cousin, the saltwater crocodile. In most conditions, lions are successful in killing a crocodile, but they also suffer severe injuries. Any crocodilian versus big cat fight, the crocodile wins in water where it can attract as well as move faster. Alternatively, the lion wins on land where it can dodge the crocodile's attacks, and it began to suffer from the lactic buildup. Sometimes the lion has an upper hand because it is a flexible animal that can jump several feet into the air. The crocodile, on the other hand, is a rigid animal that cannot jump as high as an African lion. When the two animals are fighting, lions mostly pounce on the crocodile's neck before strangling it to death. Though rare, sometimes lions jump into water to catch crocodiles. Most times, African lions hide in bushes near water points, waiting for crocodiles to come out of the water for basking. The lion is so good at camouflaging with the surroundings that crocodiles don't normally discover they are being trapped until it is too late to run away and hide. 
The muscle in a crocodile's tail and its coarse and tough hide is also sometimes used as a weapon to defend itself. There are numerous accounts, including videos and photos, of modern big cats killing crocodilians larger than themselves on land. At average weights, the crocodile is only slightly larger than this lion, and the small weight advantage is not enough for it to win on land. The crocodile would need a very big weight advantage to win on land. These two animals have equal chances of winning. The winner is determined by the location of the fight and the first one to attack. If the crocodile is able to bite the lion, the crocodile wins. It has the strongest bite in the animal kingdom and tends to drag its prey into the water and spin it until it drowns. If the lion can successfully evade the bite and land on the crocodile's back, or manage to get it on its belly and bite down, the lion could win. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.